hi there how you doing welcome back to the channel my name is Rachel Agasha and on the channel we talk about everything the United States so in today's video we're going to be talking about the strange differences between the states and back home so it's hot it's hot it's that time of the the year where it is really really hot so I just came back from church and I decided to just shoot this video shoot this video before I can go if I can go into the house so oh god yeah so like i said as from chat so one of the differences actually one of us okay i don't want to say strange but one of the biggest differences is how much time we spend in church here so listen you will not understand what they mean by time is money until you come to this country i was talking to some friend of mine some time back and she was like you know what people need to come to this country just for character development i mean no offense but when they say time is money those days we used to ask okay how much is 2 p.m honey when it is an hour like you go to church one hour in and you're out this whole business of eh, why are you at church all day why are you being at church all day and they have all these different um like i know even back home we have services spread out but like the like they value people's time of like people have very many other things to do so they're not going to be holding you here like you know so it's beautiful i, I love that i really 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 love that for this place so another thing i'd want to talk about is the bottles so you know how back home when you have like a crate of soda <laughs> and this lady will tell you i'm going to keep them like they'll keep those bottles until you bring back the empty bottles right same applies to beers same applies to everything so here when you go and buy your soda in fact you find bottled soda in the um, shelves in the store just there of like you don't have to pay for the bottle as well you get what i mean those things that we used to do at home you have to pay for the bottles man yeah what all that stuff no and it's interesting because <laughs> you buy your cartons of beer you buy your your sodas and when you finish you just throw these things away no one is going to remind you hey do not take the bottle in fact what they do here i think i have explained this in one of my videos you do not you do not you're not out here like like let's say in a park or in a public place with your bottle of beer or actually alcohol right so you need like a glass cup uh i mean um you know those disposables you if you like have a picnic or whatever you can't have alcohol beverages eh? you're moving around with your bottle you see those things we do at home your waraji bottles and all you don't do that yeah so you don't like they don't mind that whole bottle stuff oh you have to bring back the bottles man yeah what eh no <laughs> you just buy your beer your soda and go home when you're done you discard eh? or use the bottles for whatever it is that you want to use them for after another difference that i would want to talk about is the number plates now you know the different states in the United States and I read somewhere they said these were different countries that came together to create the United States so every state has a number plate of its own so if I left Virginia and I came to Maryland I need to change my tags my car my number plate yeah to reflect the um, okay for it to be a Maryland tag car tag same applies to driver's licenses if i moved uh in some places i know from maryland to virginia you have i think three months or one for you to change your license from the virginia one to the maryland one so wherever it is that you reside you need to have the plates that tags for that particular state and then you need to have the driver's license also you can live how you want but that is like how it should really be yeah so another difference is how we we like keep right so in any circumstance because now i'm sitting in my passenger seat so my wheel my steering wheel in uganda would be on this right like on my right yeah in this country the steering wheel is on on the left and when we're driving you keep right yeah then also i'd like to talk about the organization on the roads see here we drive in lanes of like there are different lanes 
on the roads yeah so if you are in the far right like far right lane so far right lane is where those people who go slowly the old people the learners the people who are not in a hurry drive from then the other lanes are for those who are rushing or if you need to turn a lane or whatever so here we drive in lanes you actually can't be running around your the side you, you do we don't drive on the shoulders of the road you know <laughs> my country people <laughs> we need to do better because oh my god i honestly do not know if i can drive in uganda because by the time i left i actually couldn't drive so I do not know if I can drive in Uganda because I am very sure those taxi men would be shouting for me, Vayo! Hey! <laughs> also, the speed here is really high. Like the, the speed at which you drive is really high. So I think the only reason as why I wouldn't drive in Uganda is because of the um, the um, the the cavio like the disorganization and all that i think that is one of the reasons as to why i wouldn't drive in uganda however um the difference is in uganda we're not as organized as we are here and here there's some bit of organization which makes life kind of easy because everyone is rushing yeah like you're not in in a hurry more than everybody else like, can you come down you know then also another strange difference that i would want to talk about we do not have border here mm -hmm. you know how you're in a rush and you just want to jump on a border and run no i mean i know we've seen these things in the movies but come i mean transport wise i feel like bo uh, the border border is a uh, you know it's a it's an idea that saves life okay no it saves time and all those things but we don't have those here in fact for you to own a motorcycle here you have to have a license you have to be able to show that you are allowed to actually have this thing on the road so you find that only individual individuals have or own these motorcycles right also um I think I kind of missed that. I kind of missed that. But then also, here, the roads are bigger and better. And public transport is good. The buses reach practically everywhere. Also, that would be another thing. Because borders reach places where people do not reach. Now, here, you find that the bus will literally be at your like your apartment or your house literally of like if it is far it's like a walkable distance of like like a 10 minutes walk if it's that far yeah so the duties or the things that the border would be doing the bus does for you of course you get onto like the metro or the train and then the train drops you off at the nearest train station and then you get onto a bus to drop you off closest to your place um you just have to have an app and know what time will this will this train be here what time will that train be here here and you're good to go yeah another strange difference i would say is cooking every day so one thing about this place is that your power is always on our electricity never goes off yeah you'll not be there and go wake up in the morning oh there's no power all oh, this when there is actually no power then there's, it's, it's a whole emergency how is there no power in the united states of america or in this particular state or whatever so we that helps us not to cook every day like we do not cook every day i mean the people who cook every day but it kind of gets hard mostly if you live by yourself because for someone like me um my grandmother is actually always complaining oh rachel that food is dead you can't be eating that food blah 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 but also if i made like stew like let's say i made chicken i made some beef or greens or gin at pest or whatever it's it's just so hard to make beef for one person right you cannot make beef for or chicken for one person of like what i'm going to make two drumsticks and that's it yeah so we find that you will make the the soup or the stew or whatever and just put it in the fridge yeah um recently that food was making me sick <laughs> so i think my grandmother is right when she says that food is dead so what i do lately i make little food actually like i if i make like stew i make just a little bit of it to be over within like two three days because you can't be keeping for food that long but also 
that is the like the strange difference like back home we don't have a problem cooking our food every day but also i think because electricity back home is very expensive i'll not lie to you the most expensive bill of electricity that i have paid if i say it here some people will be like oh no you're lying but i promise you i think the highest bill for me was um i think like 44 dollars electricity because i think that was when i was actually moving into my apartment because you know when they're fixing things and repairing all the electricity that they use is on you so when you come in you have to pay that bill and whatever but all these other subsequent subsequent bills very manageable bills water you guys i pay three dollars for my water like my month's bill for water so yes the bills are there like very many other expensive bills but water electricity mm, no it's not as a, it's not it's not that bad like it's it's not that bad also because i live by myself you're not out here doing laundry every other day you're not you get what i mean so it's kind of cheaper and nicer yeah another difference is the pedestrian walking now here the pedestrian is the boss yeah if i am crossing the road you're going to stop and you stop until i have reached where i am going yeah we have zebra crossings with um i don't know how to call it but when you reach the zebra crossing you you um, how, how is it called there's um like a controller or something so it shows you when to go yeah so at that point you're supposed to go so it's your time to move so you go the cars will stop blah 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 and all that stuff but then also if maybe it's like a different walkway or whatever and you have to cross the road the cars will stop for you yeah they will stop for you which is not like back home because at home eh these guys will be well uh, screaming insults and all these things at you because why even at the zebra crossing they will knock you <laughs> yeah so it's all these things that i look and i'm like okay this is actually a good country and us as as africans back home we can do better hmm? another strange difference is the reserved parking so they'll create they, they they create reserved parking for the disabled people now i think I, I think about this and i'm like i know it's the world this they call it um the land of of the free and 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 opportunities and all that stuff but these guys go all the way in regard to inclusivity you know like you you walk into a building and there's space for the disabled i the last time i left uganda i think they were trying to put this in two place yeah because i went to ucu and there was um there was space for the people who are actually disabled to like move up with their wheelchairs and whatever but here they are so inclusive that even when you're at church they'll find a sign language interpreter to make sure the people who have come to church and are deaf and dumb or cannot hear or whatever are actually following whatever it is that is going on the roads like for as long as you have a disability yeah they can even they, they, they even give you it's um like an identifier to show that you're disabled that you use in your car but there is parking space and it is huge like this person needs actually you see unlike us these people need bigger space to be able to navigate to get out of their cars and all and they provide that and that is nice our people again back home if you are a member of parliament or you are a big big person in uh, in your country we can do better Mm, we can do better so these are things that you should be looking through and thinking about you know so another strange difference that i'm the strange difference that i'm going to talk about is um owning a car so what here you 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 bet you can drive whatever car that you want to drive by the way any car that is on you like whatever it is that you want to drive is on you we don't have a problem with that a car here is a necessity guys when i say a necessity i mean you do not have a border even if you had to like run you know like how back home we have these very many stalls you want uh tomatoes quickly you can always get them you want um katungulu onions quickly you can always get those we do not have that luxury or like personally i do my shopping like once a month 
and I go to the store and get everything that I need because you can't keep driving back and forth or you can't be Ubering back and forth. So the difference between here and back home is that we do, yes, we have convenient stores, but those stores do not sell nyanya. They do not sell salt. They have all these other, you know, uh, like things people on journeys would need. Yeah. So when I tell you a car is a necessity, because imagine you have to, like your the other time, <laughs> Oh my god. So my my toilet had issues and I needed a plunger. For anyone who's moving into a new place, the first thing you should get is a plunger because you will need it. And when the need comes, <laughs> I don't even know how to say it to you. When you go shopping this time around, buy yourself a plunger. So I was on and off the road and I was moving around all these different stores looking for a plunger because the nearest store that I knew did not have a plunger. So I had to move to three, four different stores looking for a plunger. Now imagine you do not have a car and you're Ubering. Because again, as much as these stores are close to each other, they're not also that close. Of like if you needed something like right now, you do not want to be ordering now and then there and then you get what I mean? So here, unlike back home, because back home, when you have a car, like you, 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 you're the real deal. You know, the car is a whole, like a luxury, right? Of like, yeah, you're prestigious, you're all those things. I mean, you have a car, right? But here, things are a bit different because the car is actually a necessity. Also, you just get a car that you'll be able to manage because, eh? <laughs> another difference is uh filling gas like you, you know putting fuel in your car here we do not have people who do that for you so as you're learning to drive and to figure out things in this country you need to learn how to fill gas in your car so i still have challenges with different train different gas stations because i am getting there and i do not know what i have to do yeah so because here you just put your thing go back to your car and sit and wait so when 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 um when personally i do a full tank like whenever i do it's not that expensive also i can't be doing this whole thing every other time so when i go some 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 gas stations you have to hold this thing some other gas stations don't have to hold the whole nose or the whole fuel thing fuel pump thingy but I am always challenged, I promise you. I'm like, okay, can't someone do this job? Like, this is a whole job opportunity. You could be here making clean money, but also now it's the normal for these guys of like, we fill our own gas. No one is, no one should be doing that for you. You should be doing these things for yourself. So, that is also another strange difference that I wanted to put across. So, another one that is, um, so you see back home how we have all these traffic officers everywhere. There's a white police officer somewhere with, you know, a police officer putting on white somewhere, stopping you. Oh, let me see this. Let me see that. No. Here it's different. You'll be out here breaking your law when they catch you. Mm. But, you know, for, for, like, police only shows up when it is actually needed. Like, when there is need i don't know if you get what i mean yeah you're not going to find traffic officers on the roads in the hot sun like right now you can't be putting someone's child or someone's wife or husband in the sun really because you guys the sun is hot hmm? this sun is hot i mean i just turned off my ac but i am cooking i feel so hot in here right so we do not have that the only time you'll see police officers maybe if um like there's church like where i went to church today uh the many people who come to pray there so they'll have like a few officers trying to control traffic and all that so that is is um is when you will see like a police officer on the road or when there's an accident these guys are quick to respond these guys will be there uh even the duis eh? like this whole alcohol drinking and driving it's on very rare occasions these guys will show up if maybe someone makes a call oh you know what this and this is happening you guys need to come here blah 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 so that is when you will see police officers but in other cases it's it's not like that like you will rarely rarely see these guys so yeah um that's pretty much 
everything that I wanted to share. I mean, there are very many other strange differences, very many, but those are the ones that I felt like, you know, I would just point out and share with you guys. So, uh, if you have any differences that you've seen, those people who live in like Europe, those people who live in different African countries, I mean, can you relate? Eh? Are the things that happen in my country, the things that are happening in your country, uh, please be sure to share your thoughts in the comment section. Do not forget to like the video. Um, leave a comment if you have something to say. I love to interact with you guys in the comment section and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't for those who have subscribed for those people who comment i love you and i really appreciate you thank you so much i uh, will see you in our next video take care and stay safe bye